Welcome to this edition of the Bleeding Edge. I'm Andrew Edwards. Today we're going to be uh, installing a battery or replacing a battery in an Apple iPhone. Is that right, Nate? Yes, that's true. It is true. Is Nate true? Huh? Huh? After this. When you're able to stop uh, the exploitation of a child, or you're able to find that one piece of evidence that an investigator working a homicide needs, that's what motivates you. That's what keeps you coming back. So uh, like, like we said earlier, we're going to be replacing a battery in an iPhone, and uh, Nate, you are uh, excited about this process, despite the fact that you are voiding your warranty, is that correct? Yes. Uh, installation of a battery voids your warranty, but if your battery is dead, this is the only way you can replace it except to send it to Apple for, what is it, $100? Something like that. $100 to replace your battery, like or you can days. do it yourself. And if you order the battery kit online, it only costs $20, so you're saving a lot of money. So $20 from Apple, or? $20 from a company in Hong Kong. Hong 25 Kong. if you want to order it domestically, um, or up to like $70 if you want to order it from iFixit. Okay. And all these batteries are of equal uh, quality, I'm uh, assuming? More or less right now, because they're all being manufactured at the same time. But if you wait for the original iPhone batteries to die down, chances are the stock you buy from a third-party battery seller will also have batteries manufactured at the same time. So right. your capacity is not going to be as high. So that's something to watch for. But if you're replacing it now, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Okay. Or if you order now and wait, is that also a... Uh... That's also bad. That's bad, because then you'll just be letting your batteries sit there. Yeah, and okay. the batteries age over time. Okay, so we don't want to do that. So if you have a problem with your battery for some reason, for example, do it yourself. if you dropped your phone in the toilet, after now, you, now why would you say that? Um, Who would actually, do that? this phone uh, was dropped in the toilet by uh, one Mark Johnson, and it stopped working. He sent it to me. Um, <laughs> you can revive an iPhone that's dropped in the toilet by rinsing it with rubbing alcohol, ninety-one percent or higher, right? And just letting it dry out. Rinsing it like rinse it Sorry, off. Sorry, not or? rinsing it. Um, put it in a tub with rubbing alcohol and swish it around a little bit. Let it sit there. Make sure the water gets out of it. But you're going to have to replace the battery because the battery does get destroyed by the water. Okay, so that would be a reason if you have a broken iPhone and you're trying to repair it. Correct. If you're a DIY kind of person, this is, uh, this is for you. So what do we need to do to open this up first of all and get the battery in there? Well, Apple made it really difficult to open these phones. So um, it's not an easy process and you're likely to bend your case if you're not really good at it like I am. So also you need um, the special tools that come with the battery and a soldering iron and soldering skills. So it's not really an easy procedure, but it's doable. If you're scared, you can just watch. Yes. So should we go into close-up mode and uh, show them how it's done? Sure. Okay, close-up mode. So when you're starting out, uh attempting to change the battery, what's the first thing you need to do? Uh, first thing, definitely, you need to take out the SIM tray. So what you want to do is there's a hole on the head, on the top edge of your phone. You need to stick something like a needle or a paper clip and push in until the SIM card tray pops out. Take it out and make sure not to lose it. Why did you need to do that for the uh, battery? The, the top of the case is held in by that SIM card tray in addition to a bunch of clips. So it needs to go in order to open the phone. Okay. So next step is to grab the green opener tool, also known as a spudger by iFixit. Where do you get that? You get it as part of the, uh, the battery replacement kit. So what you want to do is, there are a couple tabs on the top of the dot connector that you need to free first. So you want to slip the little thing right between the edge of the dot connector and the black plastic, which is actually quite difficult when you can't see it. It looks fairly difficult. Wait, where is it? Okay. So you just gotta slide it in there, move back and forth to free it up. And then what you need to do is pry a little bit along the edge of one of the edges of the dock connector, and the black plastic will start to pry up. Now this is the part where it gets difficult. You need to put it under and slide your green plastic around the edge 
Now this is going to be really difficult the first time you do it, so watch out. And uh, this little green thing is actually pretty sharp, so don't cut yourself. Unless that's the kind of thing you enjoy. What you're doing is scaring me right now. Is it? Yes. Because it is an expensive device and how, if you're a novice, how easy is it for you to just ruin your phone by doing this? Um, at the moment, it's not, it's easy to damage your phone cosmetically. I mean, because the edges of the, the black plastic won't ever look the same once you've done this. Um, but as far as uh, functionality goes, as far as having a working phone, you're not going to have any too many problems with that. Okay. Okay, so once you've got the black plastic pried up around all around the edge, you'll notice it comes up just like that. And there are a couple tabs. You'll need the little screwdriver inside that you need to pry down, or rather push down, in order to free the black plastic. And they're kind of difficult to see. You'll see, you'll notice them when you're actually in your phone. And so it will free the black plastic. So that piece comes off. Now, what you have here are the antennas of the phone. You have the Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi antenna, which is this little tiny one, and then the cell antenna, which is this bigger one. And what you'll also see are three screws, one right here, one right here, and one right here that you need to take off. There are also screws along the edge that you don't have to worry about. So, we'll remove those screws. Make sure not to lose them. They're really, really small. It helps if you have a refrigerator magnet or something to stick them to, but it's not required. Are you sure it's not required? Um, yes. Oh. Yes, I am. So, now that the three screws are out, um, this here comes the really, really hard part. How many hard is, parts are there? There's um, this one, and then another one, <laughs> and I think two more after that, and then you're done. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you need to pry up, start with the edge where there are no buttons, and what you need to do is pry gently, because you can uh, bend the aluminum case, what you want to do is pry gently up until you've got enough space, and this is really difficult, helps if you have like 12 hands, you want to pry gently onto this, up the side of this uh, phone, at the side of the casing, until you have enough room to stick this just under the edge. Now, what it did, it snapped open for me. That's because this phone's been opened before, but that's going to be a really, really hard step. So what you want to do is bring the green piece, or the, your opener tool, um, under the edge of the case, and just pry as, or push as hard as you can, not as hard as you can, but as hard as you have to, bringing the uh, opener tool all the way up the edge of the case until it's fully separated. And you need to do that again for the other side, which it should be easier this time, because uh, one side's already freed. And you do the same thing, run the opener tool all the way up the edge. And then what you can do is pull up the bottom of the case, like it's not doing right now. Remember to be really careful. Okay, so you pull up the case and pull it back. Watch out because Number one, if your Apple logo has become dislodged, that's going to fall out. <laughs> and there's a cable here that you'll need to disconnect. So just put your fingernail right up under it and pull it off. So the back of the case comes right off. And at this point, if you want to re-glue your Apple logo, that's a probably a good time to do it. <laughs> so now what you've got right here, you have the camera. You have the main, sorry, this is the radio board on top. The main board is just under the radio board. You have the battery, which is the subject of this video, and the antennas, which you saw earlier. So, what you want to do first is use the little green thingy again, and try and pry out the battery. Now, the battery is a soft battery. It doesn't have a metal casing around it, so the adhesive under the phone is going to cause the battery to bend a little bit. Okay, so the battery seems to take up about half the space, or two-thirds of the space inside there. Is that pretty much... Uh... 